Hi guys, it's Rihanna again. Welcome back to the AMA Virtual Academy where I'm teaching you all about wellness for singers. How do we ensure that our voice is gonna be clear and calm and confident when it counts? In this video, we're gonna deep dive into the three ways to release anxiety and stage fright. We're gonna talk all about it, plus I'm gonna show you my grounding breath sequence that I was speaking about in the last video. Perfect for rest areas, restaurant parking lots, airport gates, backstage, pretty much anywhere. So first, remember how we talked about vocal hygiene? We know the voice is so powerful because it is so fragile, special, and anatomically dynamic. But what else makes our voices so powerful? Well, the human voice is something that uniquely links all of us on this planet, no matter what culture you're from, what country you live in, what your religion is, your race, your bank account. We all have a voice and we all have the ability to train, sing, and use it to connect with each other. Everybody and every body has a voice. That aspect of community is so incredibly unique and special and important. It's also a bit intangible. The singing voice is so linked to our emotional expression, our psyche, our mindset, our mood. Everything that goes into our inner workings is connected to our voice and how it's expressed. When I perform with my brothers, one of the comments we often get is that we sound like one voice and it really makes people feel something. Now, part of that might be DNA. In addition to looking very similar on the outside, it's possible that our vocal cords are very similar on the inside. We have the same type of resonance, tone, but we're three individuals. And part of the way that we stay in sync emotionally on stage to deliver that one voice is that we have a collective mindset of exactly how we want to feel. We've developed this on stage and off, and it takes a lot of effort, but it's something that as individuals, no matter if you're performing with siblings or other people or by yourself, you can develop and cultivate this inner mindset. It's a sense of internal calm, quiet, and trust that the performance is gonna go a certain way. Now again, you don't have to have siblings or anybody else on stage with you to improve your mindset. You have the ability to change your mindset into anything you want it to be before a performance. One of the biggest things that holds me back as a singer is my anxiety. I've struggled with anxiety and depression my entire life. And a lot of people wouldn't expect that based on my performances, but I have struggled through panic attacks, hotel room meltdowns before shows, and I've successfully developed ways and tools to work through that so that I can always have a consistent performance on stage when it counts. Paralyzing nerves basically hijack your central nervous system. And what does your voice depend on? Calm, relaxed, non-tension in order to come out effortlessly. So one of the things that returns me and my nervous system to its true core is three things. Number one, breathing. Your breath is the way you know you're supported. Your body breathes without you even having to think about it. And the only way you're able to deliver your voice is through your exhales. Think about it. Singing should feel relaxed, like an exhale. There's no need to be tense or push or pull or force. Singing really at the core of it is on an exhale. Controlled breathing and the practice of controlled breathing helps remind your nervous system that there's no need to be nervous while performing. Nerves go against you. There's no reason why nerves should be a part of helping you deliver your best performance. So practice breathing. There's a ton of tools online for breath work, meditation work that incorporates breathing. Things like yoga can really unite your breath with your body and teach you how to gain control and composure of your breath even when you're nervous. The second way to release stage fright is movement. Have you ever stopped to think about what your body actually exhibits when it's nervous? Increased heart rate, shallow breathing, shaking or trembling, butterflies in your stomach, a sense of uncertainty, a flush of adrenaline through your body. 
And aren't those the same physical characteristics you exhibit when you're super excited about something? So in my mind, I think about the way my body behaves when I'm nervous, it's the same as when I'm super excited and pumped up about something. And when I can reframe it like that, I know the kind of movement that my body needs in order to steady itself. Things like a couple quick jumping jacks, a brisk walk around the block, maybe some deep breathing or stretching, shaking out your hands, doing a couple quick yoga poses, anything that's gonna steady yourself. And right now I'm gonna show you my breath grounding sequence that I really hope will help you. It's based on a sun salutation in yoga. So if that's familiar to you, I think you're gonna love this. And if you're not familiar with it, that's okay. I'm gonna show you anyway, because I know it's gonna help you calm yourself before you get on stage. Start with your big toes together, feet grounded. Inhale through the nose, lift up. Exhale through the nose, swan dive down. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back extend. Exhale, soften the knees, hug in. Inhale, squeeze your butt to stand, roll up. Exhale, hands to center. Repeat this sequence nine more times. Slow your breath to five second inhales and five second exhales. Doing the sequence 10 times total will equal five minutes of controlled breath and movement resetting your nervous system and steadying your breath. Finally, the third way to release stage fright is mental preparation. If you're somebody who's prone to being nervous backstage before a show, this is 100% normal. It is very vulnerable to put yourself out on stage, perform from the heart, and be open to audience feedback and criticism. If you know you're typically nervous before shows, embrace that and accept that. That way the surprise of being nervous before a show doesn't add to the battle of trying to calm your nerves down. When I performed the national anthem in front of 69,000 people in a massive arena, I knew ahead of time that I was gonna be pretty nervous. So I knew what I needed to do to mentally prepare in advance. And for me, that looks like different types of affirmations and a pep talk. The pep talk I used for myself went a little something like this. It is not my job to be nervous right now. It's my job to inspire people with this very important moment. And I've done the work to prepare. We've rehearsed hundreds of times. So there's nothing to be nervous about by the time I step up there. It's okay to feel shaky and show up anyway. Show up, sing out and let it flow through you. Be the vessel. This isn't about me. This is about committing to the moment for them. I encourage you to develop your own set of affirmations or pep talk script, whatever it is that's gonna help you. Sticky notes are some of my favorite things. It's so easy to talk ourselves down and to say, oh my gosh, I'm so anxious, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm so anxious, I'm so nervous. And what if we had a system where we had a mental preparation checklist so that you show up centered and balanced and not feeling all nervous by the time you get to stage? For me, that looks like affirmations, sticky note, little mantras and positive words, and my pouch of calm. My brother's fiance made this for me and it holds a lot of things that keep me grounded on the road, um, like little photos of me and friends and family, inspiring quotes and messages and little printed out text messages from friends over the years that have been really uplifting and inspiring especially far from home. So I encourage you to develop whatever this looks like for you. For me, it's my pouch of calm. And for you, that might look totally different, but I think having some type of routine and preparation checklist that you can go to to mentally prepare for a show will help you with the nerves so much. So quick recap, three ways to release anxiety and stage fright before a show. Number one, breathing. Number two, movement. And number three, a mental preparation checklist of sorts, whatever that might look like for you. This is like physical care for your voice as well as mental and self care for your voice. It's gonna change the way you think about singing and caring for yourself. Now I'm asking you to zipper those things together and integrate this into your holistic care while you're traveling and on tour to really care for your voice long-term. Having these tools in practice for me has really changed the game in how I wanna show up on stage as a performer and how I wanna show up in my life as a human. And I will say, I think having this mindset does help your audience feel 
that you cherish and acknowledge the gift that you've been given and that you want to share it as much as possible. I hope this video series has inspired you to think about your voice in a new way. It is, after all, a treasure to have one and to share it with you. I'm grateful I could show you some tips and I hope you took a lot away from this. You can message me on Instagram at Rihanna Nelson or over on my website, RihannaNelson.com. Once again, I'm Rihanna Nelson with American Music Abroad and I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to our AMA Virtual Academy. Bye.